Welcome to the Facebook live support sample video from the course The Fearless Fluency Club. In this video, you'll see a recording of the live video that I did on the Speak English with Vanessa Facebook page. When you join the full course for the Fearless Fluency Club, you will get live support like this each week to help you understand and keep up with the full course. Enjoy this video and learn a lot. Hello, hello. Welcome to today's Thursday live Facebook lesson here on the Speak English with Vanessa Facebook page. I'm so glad that you're here. You're taking time to improve your English. Congratulations. Today we've got an important topic, a word that a lot of English learners ask me about and also have difficulty with. We're going to talk about how to use would would today w o u l d we're going to talk about how to use this at the end of this lesson you are going to feel confident using would so i'm happy to help you with this it's my pleasure if you are new here welcome i'm vanessa and i teach english on the website speakenglishwithvanessa.com I recommend that you first download the live or the the live. Why did I say live? The free, the free lesson set for the Fearless Fluency Club. You can find that link up here in the description of the post speakenglishwithvanessa.com/fluency. In this free lesson set, you are going to get a conversation lesson a grammar lesson, pronunciation, vocabulary, and a lesson guide. This is going to be full of useful information for you. And today we're going to be talking about part of the grammar lesson. This week we're focusing on the grammar part of that free lesson set. So let's get started and I want to welcome those of you who are here with me. Welcome. Lucas, excellent. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Tanoka, hi Penelope, welcome. Yutaka, hey, how's it going? Oh, <laughs> Vashla, well, you were first today. I know I say your name a lot, and I want to make sure I'm pronouncing it correctly. Vashislav. Oh, I think I don't say the Slav part. Vashislav. Let me know if I'm saying it correctly. I hope so. Hi, Daniel. Welcome. Welcome, Luis. Excellent from Brazil. I'm glad that you're here today. I have a question for you as we get started today. I want to know what is something that you loved to do when you were a kid? What is something that you loved to do when you were a kid? For me, I loved to go outside and just dig. Dig in the dirt. No reason. Just dig. <laughs> this was something that made me really happy. What is something that you loved to do when you were a kid? Maybe you loved to ride your bike or play with your friends or something else. So I want to know, what is something that you loved to do when you were a kid? Delphine, I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Aha, Janoka says eat. <laughs> oh, jean jack bicycling. So even when you were a kid, you enjoyed riding your bike. Because I know now you, you still ride your bike. You are a kid at heart. <laughs> Excellent. We've got great, great comments here. Lots of people. I'm so glad that you're here. So tell me, what is something that you loved to do when you were a kid? Claudio says, Play soccer. Okay, excellent. Lou says, I love to play football with my friends. Oh, David. Or David, you loved working. Uh -huh. Tell me what kind of work did you enjoy doing when you were a kid? Oh, well, I'm glad this is your first time here. Can you tell me how I should pronounce your name? Uh, let me know how I should pronounce it. Oh, Sarah says, I love to paint on the wall of your house. Oh, I bet your parents loved that. <laughs> oh, look at this. I used to play video games. Oh, eat candy, Monta. Caesar from Costa Rica, welcome. Dina says, hollering. And is running. 
Joey says a biking. Playing board games, Yutaka. Great, great. It seems like we have a lot of activities that are fun. Kids like to do fun things. <laughs> Su Suyelitan. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Suyelitan. Welcome for the first time. Ah, oh, Timo says I love playing computer games. Oh, and Jean Jack like making pastries with his mom. Great. Well, I want to help you talk about these activities with today's word. So today's word is wood. Wood. And there are three different ways we can use wood. I'm going to talk about the second way. So the first way is just a polite question. Would you help me? The second way today is talking about things that we did in the past. We did a lot in the past. And the final way, the Fourth way, the third way. The third way is talking about some hypothetical situations. If I were a boy, I would be very different. But we're not going to talk about the first way or the last way. We're going to focus on the second way today. So I'm going to write here on my handy clipboard <laughs> a sample sentence. A sample sentence so that you can uh, you can also write your own. So we could say uh, when when I was a kid. This is the beginning of the sentence. When I was a kid, or you could say when I was younger, uh, when I was little, when I was a child. Usually the word child is uh, we don't use it quite as much. Usually we use kid more, but both of those are fine. Uh, let's say when I was a kid. I would, uh, for me, my example was, I would dig in the dirt every day. So the key, the key in this sentence is this is something that I did a lot. It's not something that I did once. It's something that I did continuously. So when I was a kid, I would dig in the dirt every day. So you guys just told me some things, some activities that you loved doing when you were a kid. So I imagine that you probably did those more than once. So I want you to be able to use this sentence structure. So let's let's use would and then here let's add another verb. So can you tell me the the same thing that you just told me. So for example, uh, let me take a look at one of them. Yutaka said, I like to play board games. I like to play board games when I was when I was little. So for Yutaka's sentence, he could say, when I was a kid, I would play board games on the weekends, or I would play board games after school. I would play board games with my family. So talking about a continual activity, with the word would, would. So I would like to give you a chance to use this. And I'm sure after you see everyone's lovely sentences, you're going to use this continuously. Aha, uh -huh. Delphine says, when I was a kid, I would read comic books every day. This is a beautiful sentence. I hope that we can all look at her sentence and imitate this. When I was a kid, I would read comic books every day. Oh, fun. <laughs> <laughs> Yanni says, when I was a kid, I would eat every day. I hope now, too. <laughs> oh, Yutaka, great. Thanks for clarifying. He says, when I was a kid, I would play board games with my brother. Excellent. If you would like to use the word the, let's just make it singular. I would play the board game with my brother. But because there's so many, probably board games, that sounds like a fun family activity. Oh, Vashislav says, when I was a kid, I would play Transformers. Yes, these are the kind of robots that can change shapes. Sounds like fun. Who would you play Transformers with when you were a kid? Uh, I want to let you know as well, it's possible, it's possible to also say, and native speakers will mix these a lot. It's possible to say, I dug in the dirt. So this is, this is just the past. Dug, 
dug is the past of dig, of dig. So if I said I would dig in the dirt every day or I dug in the dirt, both of these are perfectly fine. And you're going to hear native speakers mix these all the time and use them even while they're telling the same story. So if you if you use just this simple past kind of verb, it's okay, but when talking about especially continual long-term activities, we love to use would. So you could use either of them, but I want you to feel comfortable with this because I feel like a lot of English learners, for, maybe for you, when you hear native speakers use would, it kind of feels like a mystery. Why are they using it? How can I use that too? So I want you to see that you can use it in this situation. It's not just simple past. You can use would here as well. All right, we've got lots of sentences. I don't want to miss them. I'm going to go back really quick and read some of them. Aha! Allah says, when I was in university, I would meet my friends every day. Excellent. Excellent. I would meet my friends every day. Said says, when I was a child, when I was a child, I would play soccer with my friends. Oh, great. Where did you play soccer? Did you go to a park? Did your school have a soccer field? I think that's a really common activity for a lot of kids around the world, playing soccer with their friends. Oh, Malak says, when I was a child, I would play PlayStation. Uh -huh. Every day, I guess. <laughs> oh, excellent. The answer says, when I was a kid, I would play a traditional game because we had no gadgets then. Yes, I think this is really true for a lot of us. Maybe when we became, for me, when I was in high school, middle school or high school, there started to be more or PlayStation, but when I was in elementary school, there was definitely not an option like that. So yes, we had to play traditional games, go outside or play with our family. <laughs> Hi, Rogerio from Brazil. Welcome, welcome. Luis says, when I was a kid, I would like to play with my toys every weekend. Great, great. Uh, when I was young, I would always have picnics on the beach. That's excellent. Tell me, where where do you live? What kind of uh, uh, area do you live in? I guess it's close to the beach. <laughs> Tina says, when I was a kid, I would take a bath in the rain every day. Oh, I think kids dream about playing in the rain. Here in my city, it's been raining a lot, and I've seen some kids walking down the street, jumping in puddles and just playing in the rain, and their parents have an umbrella, they don't wanna play or get out and get wet, but kids love that kind of thing. Oh, hi Getin, welcome, I'm glad you're here. Oh, oh yes, in my childhood, I used to read books. Great, so maybe we could say, I would read books all the time. I would read books with my mom. I would read books in bed before I went to sleep. <laughs> That's what I do. Yeah, I guess when I was a kid, I would go to a restaurant every weekend with my dad. Oh great, is this a specific restaurant? Usually if we use the word the, it's a specific one. When I was a kid, I would go to a restaurant, maybe just a general restaurant with your dad. That's a great, just connection time. You can get to know each other. Aha, uh -huh. Ang says, when I was a teenager, I would study more than now. Yeah. Oh, I think that's true. Something about school, there's pressure, there's lots of teachers, you have no other responsibilities, so we study more. But it's not always very effective. <laughs> Maybe the quantity of study, the amount of studying, doesn't really equal the amount of learning. I hope today in this 20 or 30 minute lesson, you are gonna learn and master a lot. So I want your quantity and quality to be equal today. <laughs> oh, Muhammad has a great thing about food. When I was a kid, I would prepare couscous with my mother. Oh, excellent, excellent. What kind of things did you put in the couscous? Were there some, some vegetables or meats or different things? I'm curious what your traditional style of making it was. <laughs> ah, Hussein says, when I was reading in school, I would flee away from school 
in your mind, <laughs> you're reading and dreaming about another place. <laughs> Excellent. Awasiyoshi, hi. When I was a college student, I would play pool. Oh, great, great. And just for those of you who uh, are not certain about this word, play pool. Play pool means we could call it billiards or playing pool. This is not swimming. So he used to play pool. Excellent. Uh -huh, great, great. Uh, let me read some more we've got. Oh, Oh, Saeed is watching the Olympics. Oh, I hope your, your team wins. <laughs> mm, let's see. Oh, Yutaka says, when I was little, I would read books. Oh, with your mom? With your mom and your mom would read them with you or you would read them with your mom? That's excellent. If we say by my mom, it means your mom wrote the books. Maybe your mom wrote the books. That would be really awesome. <laughs> Sometimes uh, parents make up stories, so that's possible. Let's take a look. Uh huh. Oh, Slavic. Hi. He says I would like to play soccer. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, well, maybe if you said a continual thing. When I was younger, I would play soccer a lot, or I liked to play soccer a lot. Maybe with like, it does sound a little strange. So you could use just simple past. I think that's a great suggestion. He took up. When my son was a kid, he would play with Legos. Oh, yes. Legos are a classic childhood toy. <laughs> uh huh. Edgar has a good question. Can, um, he says, so I can use would instead of used to in the past. So here you have several suggestions. So uh, as I wrote down here, you can use just a simple, a simple verb here. Or you could say, when I was a kid, I used to dig in the dirt. Yeah, this is perfectly fine as well, to say I used to dig. I think these all have this, a similar meaning, meaning something that you continuously did in the past. Great question, great question. Ah, oh, Noor says, now I'm playing outside with my daughter while listening to you. Oh, great, it's great. Noor, tell me, which country are you from again? Let me know. Oh, she says, when I was a child, I would play outside with my sister till night. Yes, I have great memories of this too. I think a part of childhood is this love of being outside and playing and spending time with your family. You don't care about responsibilities, just having fun. And that is your, that's your job when you're a kid is to play and have fun. Those are great memories. Excellent. <laughs> uh, let's see what else we've got. Oh. <laughs> Hussein, I think this is something that we all understand. He says, when I was a teenager, I would irritate my mom, but today I don't do it. Yeah, I think when we're younger, we say things we shouldn't have said, we do things we shouldn't have done, but now hopefully we're older, more mature, hopefully smarter, <laughs> and do things a little differently, especially with family. <laughs> Excellent. Motosem, we're talking about the word would. What is something that you would do when you were a kid? Something continuous that you would do when you were a kid. Oh, Mohammed says, when I was a teenager, I would like to watch vampire movies. Uh huh. like to watch vampire movies. And I just want to give you a little note because you said a great word, the word film, film. And in the U.S., in the U.S., the word film usually doesn't talk about a regular movie. Typically, this word is going to talk about not a Hollywood movie, maybe a locally made movie, something smaller. Now, in the UK, in England, this is going to be a different meaning. So I'm not an expert with that. I'm going to interview a British guy quite soon, so keep your eyes out for that. <laughs> but uh, in the US, Usually when we're talking about Hollywood movies or big production movies, 
these are movies instead of films. Thank you for bringing that up. <laughs> Alright, let's see. When I was a kid, I would like to be like my dad. Uh-huh. Yes. You wanted to be like your dad. Perfect. Perfect. Ah, <laughs> uh, Rogeria, thank you for your kind comment. I said, I would like to thank you for this live lesson. Excellent. Ah. <laughs> uh, it's very true, Cloud. Excellent. I would like to take my friend to go out for lunch. This would be a wonderful thing, especially if it's me. I'd love to go out to lunch. <laughs> so thank you, everyone, for your great sentences. I hope that the next time you speak English, when you're talking about a continual action in the past, you can use the word would or used to, or the simple past, mix them all up because this is what native speakers do when they're telling a story about the past. So if you hear on a TV show that somebody uses, oh, when I was younger, I would do this, or when I was in college, I would do this, you're gonna know why they're saying this. It's because they continually did it in the past. Excellent, if you have any questions about this, this verb, Today, feel free to ask it in the comments below. I'll try to go back after this lesson and take a look at it. And I want to remind you, if you'd like to download, I'm not sure why not, it's free, download the free sample lesson set. I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to turn around my camera and this is the best page for you. On this page. This is speak English with vanilla.com slash fluency. You can download the sample lesson pack for free. You can get today. We are talking about could, would, and should this video. And there are also uh, other videos, the conversation, vocabulary, pronunciation. Next week, we're going to talk about the pronunciation video. So make sure that you check it out. You can download it and the full course will open in 15 days, 9 seconds, 34 minutes, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, starting again. <laughs> seconds. <laughs> so I recommend downloading the free sample lesson pack. And when the course opens, you will have also discount information so that you can join the course with a discount if you'd like. All right, I'm going to say bye really quick before we go. And if you have questions about other ways to use would or could or should, I recommend downloading the samples and set speakenglishwithvanessa.com slash fluency. This way you can get all of the information about these three really important words. I will teach you how to use each one and show you examples from our conversation, the conversation that I had with my sister. So thank you so much for your hard work today, participating, writing comments. If you didn't write a comment, I challenge you to do it the next time. This is a great way to interact and meet other people and hopefully to connect with me too. I'd love to meet you. Thanks so much, Lucas. Thanks so much for being here. Enjoy your day too, Siyoshi. It is late night for you. Enjoy your night. <laughs> Yes, Delphine, see you on Tuesday. I will be back on Tuesday at the same time, and there might be a little surprise on Tuesday. I'm going to have some visitors, two visitors, possibly their dog. I'm not sure about their dog because I have three cats, so I'm not sure what we're going to do, but I will have some visitors, and maybe, if we are lucky, maybe they will participate a little bit in the live lesson. Let's see. So I'm not going to promise, but I hope that it will work. So come on Tuesday at the same time, 10 a.m. Eastern time, and you can learn about the next lesson, which is pronunciation. We're going to talk about ED, ED, past words, next week on Tuesday and Thursday. Thanks so much and have a wonderful Thursday and a wonderful weekend. See you later, everyone. Bye, Claudio. Bye. See you later.
thank you for watching this sample video lesson from the Fearless Fluency Club. I would love to help you continue to improve your English. Would you like to get full lesson sets every month and personalized feedback from me? Click the I at the top of the screen to join or click the link in the description below. You can become a fearless, fluent English speaker. Let's start now.